Mm. So we're trying to decide whether we want to go out to the gobbler that we've watched from the motel room or Chubbs roosted a couple gobblers over at the place we were at yesterday. Situation is he didn't get to watch where the gobblers yesterday pitched up from, so we don't know what side they're going to. He just knows where they're at, not which draw they're at. A pretty good idea. Which way the bird did I watch is gonna fly down, but it's one of those situations, you should, like same situation that you watched yesterday when I called them up and having to stand up. Cause that stuff is so steep in there. Like I watched a turkey when he flew up, he only pumped his wings like three times and it was like clumsy and he was on a tree limb. So I know that bottom falls off really, really steep. So the only place, I mean, you can't get out there in front of him, there's nothing, it's just a wide open field. So it's gonna be a situation like the other day with Chubb's gobbler, where we just had to go sit up under him and let him kind of pitch out past us. The terrain's not gonna lay out as accommodating for that. So I don't know, man. We gotta shake the bad luck bug we got yesterday somehow. Killed the, I mean, I could have killed him. I'd have wiped out the whole freaking flock. When I came over the top right there, there was the two, two of the three Jakes was over here to the left, like 22 yards. He was up there about 35. But he was just doing that little circle around about two or three hens. And if I'd have shot him, I'd have cleaned the whole, whole shebang out. I don't know what else to do. And when they went off that back of that hill, son, they freaking was gone. Thank <laughs> you. 
No. No. Not a single turkey. Maybe they're still over there. Yeah. Maybe that's his three. Yeah. He's way off there by the tree line. Third time I should have done killed that turkey. That time it worked. <coughs> oh. Man, they were all crossing down there. And he had this tree on me. And I raised that dead stick out there. It was 44. They were all walking across it. I thought, I guess that'll have to do. I, th I thought you was going to get your laugh. Then I looked around and he was like half the distance. <laughs> yeah. Got him, boy. Yeah. Ready to see you. What's up, Casino? Oh, you're hit. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. I feel like I just definitely smoked. a 20 pound. We're going to find us two more of these puppies, HW. We do. I know where two are. And I'm hoping that we shook the bug that Did we you had hear yesterday. Me? I know huh? some more. All right. We're They're gonna, gonna be find hard them. as a dang rascal to find them. Yep. My eyes feel like I have sand in them. Is yours? I was having a little issue this morning. Started now, but it cleared up pretty quick. I was just sitting there, man, thinking if 
we'd have been back home, we never would have got that close that turkey. Yeah, some guy would have smelled us. Said oh, on the, the roost? Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Man, you were like, I thought I heard him drumming. I t man, that wasn't a minute after that. I don't think he ever quit drumming. Uh -uh. This is insane, dude. You can look up and he's yeah. like right there. You could have taken a five iron and knocked him off the limb. Is there such thing as a five iron? I'm sure there is. Ain't there a everything iron? Like one through. I don't know how that's known. What about the woods? Are they dumb or different? Speaking of woods, oh Tiger Woods, he showed out, didn't he? Hey, he may have been down, but he wasn't out. He wasn't out. Well, they said the ultimate comeback story. Did you watch? I knew it was gonna be a crapshoot getting in there and trying to set up on that turkey with a terrain like it was. I mean, I told you that when we walked in there. I was like, all I know is to do is get as close as we possibly can. And we should have set up on the crest of that hill. Yeah, I mean, laid over. <clears throat> we could have just laid there and. My God, you'd have killed. You'd have seen the muzzle flash. I thought if there's a chance you get a shot of him when he flew. Oh, down, the muzzle flew. You're gonna see a heck of a roar. I didn't think it was like possible to shoot a turkey too early. You know, you got the legal shooting time, 30 minutes before sunrise. There. You might have been able to illegally shoot that turkey. He's pretty. He is pretty. Well, I'm going to have me a smoke. You going to have one? I probably will take a pass on this. You got something to do with the emphysema? Gobbled pretty good this morning, didn't he? Shit, yeah. Don't you get up there and let him see you after all this now. Hear him on that damn forwarder down there. That's why he's up here all right day. That's why he's up here, Kenny. That's it. Mm -hmm. They must be a pile of turkeys, boy. Three strutters. That's them. Three strutters. Three strutters. Get your ass up there. They're down, Kenny. Two to the right. those turkeys and the more we kept looking at them the more I kept looking at them we like those turkeys come in from the other side of that draw they didn't pitch up from our side so I made a big loop to get on the other side to see what it looked like and that's why it's after 10 o'clock and I'm just now getting to walk out that's one thing you gotta get used to if you hunt out here it's like you know if you roost you're gonna be out till 10 o'clock and and these turkeys, like that turkey this morning, flew down at like 5.30 at the latest, so not much time for sleep. I looped around that ravine and had a look, and man, it's extremely steep on the other side and not nearly as manicured. Like, uh, the grass is pretty ragged and stuff, so I don't know. There's a bush right below them to where we could kind of do what we did this morning and go right in below them and see if we can't shoot them when they come out and they pitch over our heads or whatever but anyways that's the update on the roosting edition for tonight so we will see how it goes in the morning